Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. My name is Tessa and I'm really happy to be here to share with you my top six tips for if you find mold, what the heck to do next. So make sure you stay tuned until the very end of the video for my number one tip on what you need to do when you find mold in your home. So first of all, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you tap that bell button so that you're notified when I go live. And I go live often, but this channel is about hope and resiliency and you can get through this whole thing. So let's start with number one, don't freak out. Okay, so like if you find mold in your home, don't freak out. My sweet, sweet loves, don't freak out. Yes, mold can be a, mold is a problem. I'm not saying that it's not a problem, but there are so many things that you're going to be able to do and you're not going to, it's, it's not the end of the world, it's not doomsday. So I urge you to stay present and just do the next right thing. That's all you can do is the next right thing. And the more present you can be, and the more you can just stick to like saying, okay, I'm just gonna do the next right thing, the better off you're going to be. Because if you're part of my family and you know this, you know I say this all the time, stress causes inflammation, which is going to exacerbate any symptom or any situation that may be going on. So number one, don't freak out. Get very present. Just simply say to yourself, okay, I found mold. What do I do next? And this is my number two tip for what to do next. Don't clean it. Okay, number two, do not clean the mold because <laughs> you could make the problem worse. So don't go spraying bleach or hydrogen peroxide or anything like that on it just yet. Okay, like don't, don't do that just yet. Yes, there are definitely like, like I like to call cheat man remediation solutions and I'm gonna make another video about that. But for right now, hands off. And my, my best advice is hands off. All right, so you find mold, hands off for right now. Don't clean it just yet. You know, make sure you're like, there's a couple different things that you can do. Make sure that you're ventilating the area, right? Make sure that you are aware of where the mold is and that you can, then, then again, you're not gonna freak out and then you're going to not clean it just yet because that brings me to point number three. You may want to consider either running the ERMI test, the hurts me test, or find a mold inspector who can come and take a look at your situation first, right? So, so hire either a mold inspector, get an ERMI test, see what is really going on in your home. And I, and I personally think that the professionals can handle this really well um, if you find the right company. I was blessed to have a good company. So find the right company to come and take a look if that's within, if that's within your budget. I mean, let's be realistic if that's within your budget. So, you know, that these, these can assess the different levels of mold. The professionals can tell you, you know, this is a problem, this isn't a problem. Well, they can tell you like what they're gonna, what they could do to help you. And they can kind of tell you like, is this actually like mildew? Is it mold? You know, is it, is it really dangerous? You know, so hire a professional in my opinion would be step three. Again, if you can't afford that, then, that will bring us to step number six, which I'll get to in a minute. But number four, when you find mold in your home, start binders, all right? So start taking some binders. There are multiple different kinds of binders. There's like, you know, Pectrosol C, there's charcoal, and but there's my favorite one personally, which is clay. And of course, you know, you've heard of like cholestyramine and Wellcall. You know, all if that's your choice, then that's your choice. They, I've had, I've had a lot of clients not have really positive experiences with those drugs, um, but if they work for you, they work for you. You know, those are also binders. My personal favorite is clay, and yes, you can use bentonite. I also personally work with some really, really amazing clays that are, in my opinion, much far superior because they have other clays in them that act on different body systems. For example, they help balance your hormones. They help you calm down. They help with like parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system balance. Um, they also remineralize you. So they don't actually, they, they pull toxins, but they don't actually pull minerals from you. They add minerals to you. So that's really cool. Um, and if you're interested in purchasing these clays, please email me and say, I'd like the clay. And I'd be happy to place an order for you and explain to you like how to use these clays. They are amazing. They don't make you constipated, by the way. They actually help you go to the bathroom, 
really, really cool. So number four would be to start binders because if you are living in a moldy location, you need to have some binders that's gonna be pulling those toxins from your system. All right, number five, get an air purifier or an air filter. My favorite one is the IQ Air. Seriously, like I love my IQ Air, baby. I use it every day in multiple rooms of my house. I love it just because I wanna have clean air. And you can still use this filter when you are in a moldy home. Why? Because the filters are actually specially made to pull and they, they trap mold and mycotoxins in them. So you don't have to worry about them like being spread. So if you are still living in a moldy home, you can still use the IQ Air and like that will draw the mycotoxins in and trap them and it will clean your air. So it's really a, a powerful tool. And again, if you're interested in purchasing one, I have a promo code that I can get you a discount for the IQ Air on. So let me know if you're interested in purchasing the IQ Air. Just email me and say, I'd like the IQ Air and I can give you that promo code. So that's number five, get an air purifier or an air filter, preferably the IQ Air. It's amazing. All right, then number six. But first, let me tell you my number one piece of advice here. You've got to make your body more resilient, period. Because a lot of you who are sensitive to mold are sensitive to other things like EMF, maybe you have MCS, maybe you have chronic fatigue, maybe you have heavy metal toxicity, maybe you have Epstein-Barr, maybe you have Lyme. I mean like all of these things, right? And the last thing you want to do is live in a bubble. And the last thing that you want to do, I mean that's the last thing I wanted to do. You know, the last thing you want to do is like live in total fear of mold for the rest of your life. And you can do this by getting your body more resilient. There are certain things that I teach my clients on how to get your body more resilient so that you're not so sensitive to all of these things. And that you can become a freaking cockroach and not be so affected by all the things that you could be affected by. Like, you know, all the chemicals and like all the, you know, foods. Like, you've got to make your body more resilient. So that's my number one piece of advice is you've got to make your body more resilient. But let's get on to step number six. Either hire a remediator professional if you can afford it. You may need to move. But if these are not options, then you can go to what I like to call cheat man remediation. And I have a couple different things that I'll share with you. I mean, you can diffuse certain oils. You can potentially use hydrogen peroxide, colloidal silver. You can use foggers. Um, there's a lot of different techniques that you can do to do what I call a cheat man's remediation. They may not be like totally professional. They may not be the most, you know, the, like they might, they, they might not be the, the, the best option. But if you are in a situation where you're like living in an apartment, you don't have the money to move, you don't have the money to remediate, please reach out and I can help walk you through some of this cheat man's mold remediation techniques that I've been learning along the way, different things that you can do in your home or apartment to keep your home more safe and mold free. So please reach out if you're interested in learning more. Please email me at tgirly7 at gmail.com. I'd be happy and I'd love to walk you through some of these cheat man's remediation techniques and, and anything else. Like I, I help people and I consult people in this all the time because I've been through it, been there, done there, you know, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. I don't wanna wear it anymore. And I would love to help you in that way. So let's just run through these this one more time. Number one, don't freak out, stay present. You know, just take the next right step. If you find mold, don't freak out. You can, you're still gonna be okay, all right? Number two is don't clean it just yet. Back away, don't do anything to the area just yet or to the mold just yet. Stay present again, don't freak out, don't clean it. Number three, either hire a professional to come take a look and then, or you can get the ERMI test, assess what's really going on. Number four is start binders. My preference is clay. If you're interested in purchasing these clays, email me and say, I'd like the clays. And you know, but you can start binders and that's going to help you a lot to start. Um, then number five is you could get an air filter. My preference being the IQ Air. Reach out if you'd like the promo code. And then number six is hire a remediator move or you can do some cheat man's remediation but the number one thing is to get your body more resilient and what i can do for you 
is to customize plans to get your body more resilient so that you don't have to live in fear anymore. You know, and like, so I can help customize plans. I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert, but I can teach you what has helped me in my recovery journey. And so that I'm not as affected by any of these toxins and issues. So please feel free to reach out. I would love to guide you. I hope this video was helpful. I love you all so much and have a beautiful evening or day. And thank you for being part of the Enliven family. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.